Hello, my sweet summer children. I'm back with some juice to get you through the long night. Stay tuned till the end to see if you won the giveaway. One thing our story doesn't lack is questionable paternity. Besides the fact that these characters really aren't real, DNA testing was not available during the Dark Ages or Middle Ages or whatever ages. But due to this new innovative technology that I have created, gray area, DNA testing, we're going to find out who's the daddy. So DNA stands for description, narrative, and actions. Do the descriptions match? Does it fit the narrative or advance the story in some way? Do the characters match their supposed parents' actions or the way their parents act? Rob Stark's parentage has been brought into question. So today, we are going to sort out the DNA and see if Ned Stark is really his father. If you want me to do DNA on a character you have had questions about, then well, golly gee whiz, just leave it in the comments for me. Firstly, you may have never even heard Rob's father could be anyone but Ned Stark, but I'm here to tell you that might not be the case. Many people have suggested that Rob Stark is the son of not Ned, but Brandon Stark. Let's see what the evidence suggests. Firstly, I'm going to give you a quick rundown and timeline of Brandon Stark and Catelyn Tully's relationship and Rob's birth. Catelyn Tully was betrothed to Brandon Stark in 282 at River Run. Sometime after that, Peter Baelish challenged Brandon to a duel in the Bailey at River Run. Catelyn begged Brandon to spare him. He did, but left him scarred. Brandon was later killed, and when their wedding day came in 282 at River Run, Ned stood in his place and wed Catelyn. Rob was born 283 AC at River Run while Ned was at war. This timeline makes it possible. Um, it only takes nine months to have a baby. So let's start with the description. Rob Stark looks like Catelyn. Blue eyes, auburn hair, stocky build, he's a Tully. When it comes to the actual appearance description, the only children of Catelyn's or only child of Catelyn's that actually looks like a Stark is Arya. Um, John looks like a Stark, but that's not her baby. That's not Ned's baby. That's Lyanna's baby. The rest of the wolf pack look like Tully's. So let's move on to narrative. So, Catelyn Tully hates Jon Snow, but why? Why does she hate Jon Snow? What she tells us in all her POVs is conflicting with what she tells us in all her POVs. She says she was heartbroken, but in the same token, she calls Ned a stranger. So, how are you heartbroken over a stranger that only lingered with you for a fortnight after your wedding? You don't know him. He wedded you, he bedded you, and returned to war. You said he wasn't as handsome as Brandon. You compare him to Brandon quite often in a bad way. If you love him and had been with him for years and he fathered a bastard, then yes, you would be upset, but when a stranger returns home with a bastard, you're heartbroken and you hate him and you wish the baby dead. Now, fun fact, Catelyn is the one who forced the wall upon John. Catelyn would not allow him to stay in Winterfell and Ned couldn't take him with him to King's Landing for fear he would be mocked and ridiculed because he's a bastard. So you might be wondering, why would Catelyn want John to go to the wall? Winterfell is surely big enough for him not to be in her way, but she insists that he cannot stay there. Well, when a man joins the Night's Watch, he gives up his claims to lands and titles. Now, you may be wondering why would it matter if he even pressed the claim? He's a bastard, and Rob is Ned Stark's first true-born son. Or is he? Catelyn talks about John's claim with Rob. And it's like, there shouldn't even be a debate about it. You know who else debated claims? Our enemies will say anything to weaken your claim to the throne. It's not a claim, the throne is mine. Let's 
go back to the timeline. Okay, 282 AC, Brandon, Catlin, Lysa, and Peter Baelish are all at River Run. They all staying under the same roof. Lysa fucks Peter Baelish and becomes pregnant with his child. So Catlin and Lysa, they get their moon blood at the same time. And at this point, before she marries Ned, Catelyn is pregnant and so is Lysa. Lysa is pregnant by Baelish and Catelyn is pregnant by Brandon. Brandon is killed. Lysa marries John Aaron and Catelyn marries Ned. And we get this quote. She and her sister had been married on the same day and left in their father's care when their new husbands had ridden off to join Robert's rebellion. Afterward, when their moon blood did not come at the accustomed time, Lysa had gushed happily of the sons she was certain they carried. Lord Hoster found out Lysa was pregnant by Baelish and made her have an abortion with moon tea. Tansy, he set it on his deathbed. So she aborts her baby and Catelyn doesn't because no one knows that Catelyn fucked Brandon because Catelyn wouldn't do that because Catelyn is perfect. So then we get another quote. Lysa's blood had come not long after, and all the joy had gone out of her. Catelyn had always thought that Lysa had simply been a little late. But if she had been with child... Okay, this timeline is on point with Rob being Brandon's. Now, Brandon is wild. He likes to have sex. We know he took Lady Barbara Dustin's maidenhood, and he is also a suspect in the shaming of a Shardane at the tourney of Harrenhal. He was the wild wolf. Brandon was never shy about taking what he wanted. I am old now, a dried up thing, too long a widow, but I still remember the look of my maiden's blood on his cock the night he claimed me. I think Brandon liked the sight as well. A bloody sword is a beautiful thing. Yes, it hurt, but it was a sweet pain. So he isn't as big on honor as Ned is because Ned wouldn't take a maiden head just because. That's what Brandon did. If Brandon wanted it, Brandon did it. And if Brandon was around Catelyn and he wanted it, Brandon was going to do it. Which brings me to Rob. Rob was a little wild. He had a touch of that wolf blood. Rob swore a vow to Walder Frey, but he then broke that vow when he fucked Jane Westerland. He broke the wedding vow to Walder Frey for Jane's honor, but was it really for her honor or for her cunt? That's up to y'all to decide. To me, that whole shit wasn't honorable. Also, killing Rickard Carstark was a very stupid, hot-headed thing to do. That's what caused him to lose the war, so as far as I'm concerned, Rob acts more like Brandon than he does like Ned. The timeline matches, so the DNA analysis is in. And, Ned Stark, you are not the father. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. On to the giveaway. All of your undead Kingsguard were amazing and I wish I could give you all a prize, but the winner of the giveaway is Adrian Brooks. Please contact me on the back end of my channel. As always, thanks for watching and let me know if you want me to do DNA on any characters you find questionable like this video if you like it you can connect with me on these social medias click that subscribe button and hit that notification Shame. bell so you can become Shame. a sweet summer child Shame. okay my sweet summer children Shame. have a good day